Right, girl, you can go into single paddock. Good morning, here in the singles paddock. I just put the the girl that I had at home that I got from the twins, I had a dead one, in the last video, I had one at home, so she's out there in the singles. I've got Jenny here today, she's gonna help me. Woo, we got four, the drought's broken. We've got four, four, four lambs. Well, we've got three, yeah. There's one over there. It's broken yesterday, yeah. Yeah, so there's but. There's one, there's three over here, so all cool. to shed out, and they're all pretty, looking all healthy, pretty good. healthy, strong, sunny. Lovely yeah. day before the snow comes. Very uh, excited. So we'll get these out, yeah, and then we'll uh, get off and do the twins. <laughs> I didn't even see this one over here until I started shifting the fence. Yeah, I was like, oh. It was well amongst. Look at this grass, it's starting to grow. Is it? Yeah, all the green shoots coming away. Brilliant. So that's good, that's what a nice uh, northwest wind does, warms things up. Can't resist it, can you? <laughs> Viewers, do not do this at home. She's a good mum. Oh, <laughs> look at them. Stopping and cheating. Lots of feed. Oh, that's a good feeling. And that shelter belt from the south. Perfect. Uh, leave it. Oh, yeah. One more to get. Yeah. Here's a kiwi farm hoodie. It's a little bit grubby. A little grubby. But it can't get washed because it's so warm. I fell asleep in it last time. <laughs> <laughs> right. They're getting lots of use. So good, so comfy. Mum was wanting to go out the gate and you're just standing there. Come on, bud. One last step. Right, four years this morning. It's great. It's just sleeping. It's just tired. I mean, it's a big uh, adventure this morning, getting born. Yeah, 11.8. That's a lot of power. <laughs> yeah, turn it off. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Did you do that with the tester? Uh oh. That's not cool. Oh yeah. You said to do it with the tester. Yeah. That was just ran out of petrol. The skills passed. Here we go. Oh. Sometimes when they're cast, they um, they sort of go numb on one side and they want to run away, but yeah, there you go. So you have to stand them up for a wee while before, I guess it's like severe pins and needles, depending on how bad it is. Like a compromising position there. It's a white love, don't run away. Oh dear, that doesn't look good. It's like dealing with a drunk mate. There we go. Walk it off. They get into trouble pretty quick when they're lying down because all the gas is built up. Oh, I think we have another cast one over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, ladies. 
So, uh, update from the lambing. Yeah, we didn't film much of the twins. Uh, there's 20 lambs in the first paddock, so they've they've um, they've lambed you know three, four, four, five, six lambs overnight, something like that. Uh, there's a couple of dead ones in the the last paddock, so I don't know what's going on there. Probably just milking issues from the ewes. Um, the paddock with the cast, cast ewes in it. A um, couple more in the third paddock. Nothing in the triplets. So overall, pretty good. We go. Tell that dog to stop yapping. Right, coffee time and then uh, and then cows. We've got ourselves a new to us second hand digger trailer. So that'll be uh, will come in handy when we get our new digger. Yeah, cart it around and do all that stuff. Beauty. So just before I uh, start getting ready to go to these awards, the they are uh, uh, with food and fibre awards for ag students at Lincoln Uni tonight. Um, there is a new lamb here in the singles. So fifth, fifth one today. So we'll um, we'll shed her off. I think the lambs, yeah, should work. <laughs> lamb skipping around. So we'll uh, we'll get him out. Get her on some better feed. There you go. Job done. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Saturday morning. Had a good night last night at the Food and Fibre Awards at Lincoln University. So congratulations to those winners. And uh, yeah, it was a great, it was a great night, wasn't it? It was a good evening. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very important people. Yeah, it's good to see some some pretty uh, passionate young people coming through the food and fibre uh, yeah. sector. So encouraging. Don't go that way. Oh, yeah. So we've got uh, got a new lamb here in the singles. And this other ewe has uh, just, she's just starting to lamb, so she's a bit confused, thinking that the, the live lamb's hers, where it's, she hasn't been, <laughs> she hasn't given birth yet. So we'll, uh, we'll try and shed her out. I'll go and open the gate. Oh, she's got a foot sticking out. Yeah. Will we catch her and help her along? Yeah, because she's already licked that up. Okay, I'll hand you guys over to Jenna. Lamb's <laughs> pulling back. Oh, I'm not ready yet. Yeah. Push. Now. Ooh. Got that breach as well. Yeah. Not really sure how you. Good girl. Oh, good girl. Pushing at the right <laughs> time. I know. Good girl. There's no yellow fluid, so that's. I'm not an angle at one. Yeah. I'm just wondering. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Good girl. A few more. Hey, it's it. Oh, look. Oh, you've got your own lamb to chase. <sighs> Take a breath. Okay, guys. Guy. You didn't want to come out, did you? You're right, love. That's your baby. Hey, now give this one a lick. Not everyone else's, this is your baby. Very well. 
made a stick on it. Oh, I love this. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, you did well, didn't you? Hey? Alright, you're up for me to go. Yep. Good girl. Is it win? A bit tricky today in the fog, but I think everything in this paddock's good. I just haven't counted. There'll be we're over halfway in this paddock for the first the first paddock. So there's over be over 20 lambs in here with 40 ewes. So that's good. We'll go and check the other ones. Looks like we have to help a lot, but you know there's please tell me this one's still alive. Yeah. Is um, it? Front legs back. Oh love. She was just standing there calling out, weren't you? Good girl. Hey. You hold her over. Good girl. Hey. Heart breathing. I know you can hear it. You're right, love. Good girl, you're pushing. Hey, good. Hey. What have we got? You know, love? Look! It's so alive! Yeah. Good girl. Hey, this is your baby. That was committed, but you did the right thing calling out. We nearly missed you. Hey? Good girl. Right, let's go get this other one out now. Hmm? I don't know how Alistair does this filming. <laughs> I like your um, glove hook. Like my tyre. Yeah. <coughs> Might calm me down too, my legs. <laughs> no cynical. Gosh, good girl. I thought that might help. Mm -hmm. Hey? Well, that's because I got pain in here as well. Sure, no, I fixed it. It's your brother or sister? Yeah. You want to do a helicopter? No, just a sniff from them. <coughs> Good girl. Oh, good girl. Might be a bit close for some people, but sign of success. Uh, what have we got? 18 in this paddock. There's another couple in the, the previous paddock. Um, yeah, four in the paddock that, uh, you know, where I lambed at last year. So, um, that paddock's gone, going well. Yeah, this one's still slow. This has got the most number of views in it, but uh, it'll pick up. I'll get there. There's, uh, there's a few here. Right, uh, triplets. We're just going to go check the triplets now. Hopefully the grass picks up. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it's, yeah, it's these frosts, but um, at least it's not frosty today. Yeah, Every day helps soil soil temperature. Um, Alistair's just gone up to feed out hay to the cows, and um, uh, when we checked the triplets, there was one that had dropped one lamb, um, and we thought it looked fresh, but it looked like it had been out a wee while, so we thought oh, we'll give her a minute more than a minute we'll give her some time and come back and check her and see if she's managed to get them out on their own um before the triplets this morning we assisted seven lambs so there were seven that were awkwardly birthing um two were already dead but it's good to know that we saved five i mean that they absolutely would not have um survived and then the ewes wouldn't have survived either so 
but there were more born, so you know, you think, oh gosh, that's quite a few, but there were more that were born fine. Um, so sometimes it's good to just leave them and they get on with it themselves. And Alistair made the right call because I'm over here to check and she is happy with her three healthy babies. He'll be very pleased to hear that because I don't like the look of trying to catch a sheep in that paddock. I know it's not easy. Right, just up here, one of the water intakes. Uh, this is all silted up, uh, the settling tank, and then, yeah, so she had to empty it out, get it all sorted. So now, all the ewes and uh, calves and everything on the flats should have water. All going well. So something I wanted to touch on before ending this video uh, was, yeah, got a local guy just found out uh, took his own life a couple of days ago um, so just wanted to touch on this briefly somewhat like myself uh, has been diagnosed with depression in the past it's been eight years probably seven years something since um, since I got diagnosed so I've got a treatment plan um, so I kind of know what people go through when things start getting a bit tough. Uh, but what I just wanted to say, are there are people out there that can help. So if you're in that bit of a mindset, some numbers I'll link here and chuck in the description below. Real Support Trust, um, I Am Hope, things like that. There are people to talk, it's all confidential. Um, no one's gonna think less of you for speaking out um, and having a conversation with someone, you know, I mean, for me, I'd probably respect a person more that decided to try and speak out and fix the problem. Um, yeah, it's just such a sad ending. So if you're struggling, reach out to someone. Yeah, you don't have to do it. You don't have to battle with it on your own. Right, we'll leave this video here. Uh, lots of live lambs, so that's good. I'll catch you tomorrow, uh, Sunday. Bye.